seems like this is just a ploy to get you to buy more stuff the Democrats are selling. Now, not sure about you, but this story lit a fire under you know what. Chef and restaurateur Andrew Gruel joins me now. So the Democrats say we want to stay out of the bedroom, get the government out of the bedroom. It's just every other room in the house they want to be involved in, like the kitchen. Are you going to take this, Gruel? Well, no, I'm not going to. And I should mention, actually, my stove is in my bedroom. So I'm kind of, you know, I got a little <laughs> bit of safety there. Good for you. And uh, look, you know, the reality is, is that I am so livid about this. And like the protests that we've seen as of late, I actually threw tomato soup all over my stove. And I have actually taped myself to my stove. I've been here for 24 hours now. <laughs> I haven't moved once. I was six foot nine yesterday. I'm five foot 11 right now. And I'm going to stay here until this is just completely abolished from anybody's mind. I mean, we're living in an upside down world. This is a comedy. Actually, it's a, it's a tragedy is really what it is. But let me throw out there, because you and I have talked about this before, if you recall, the microwave generation, that three years ago it was, okay, we're going to move from electric, and there was nothing mentioned about asthma or kids or any of that, and that didn't work. And then a couple years after that, they tried throwing a new alarmist piece into it. That didn't work. Well, what have they been doing for the past year? Using our kids as fodder and bait for their insanity. And now they're throwing the kids in there with this new study, which I should mention was written by an environmental think tank, whatever the heck that is, an environmental think tank whose financial incentive is to reduce greenhouse emissions. And the study they put together is not a study on children. All this is a meta analysis, which is basically them going out and trying to cherry pick as much statistical analysis as they can to even put together an argument supporting this idea that asthma can be connected, and it's not. The study falls apart immediately, but they're going to keep pumping this forward as quickly as they possibly can to eliminate stoves, to eliminate gas. The thing is, guess where the electricity is coming from? Coal power plants and natural gas. So it's actually going to be less efficient and worse for the environment if we were to move forward with this principle. But that doesn't matter. Grill, are you on a hunger strike? Because I don't think you're going to make it. Um I'm not on a hunger strike. Actually, I've been eating steaks since I started doing this 24 hours ago. So I'm eating one pound of steak every single hour in protest as well. And uh, this is pretty amazing. I have a fully functioning restaurant going on here in the background, and I'm able to cook for hundreds of people standing here just like this with my mind. All right, Grill. And careful with those eggs. I heard they're pricey. Just try to keep the prices at a minimum. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. $100 an egg. Thanks, Grill. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.